Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing the requested Leo nail design. I know before previously I was backed up and I am finally up to date with all of these zodiac signs. So right now we are in Leo season. So of course y'all already know this is the video for you guys if you're a Leo. I've already taken out my practice hand. For this practice hand, this is the Red Iguana practice hand. I am not sure the name of this specific hand, but I do believe this is the darkest shade that she has. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that link below if you guys were wondering what hands I am using. Now for the tips, I did go ahead and use the extra long coffin non-C curve tips. I did ask you guys previously what kind of design and tips, not even design, just like kind of feel for Leo you guys wanted like color wise and a lot of you said gold brown um one of you suggested me physically drawing the Leo face so I took into consideration a lot of what you guys stated in your comments which I truly appreciate and I hope I deliver <laughs> um so yeah we're just going in we're going to I'm going to glue these tips on with my rubber base gel like I usually do using my little side lamp and we'll move on to the next step y'all and don't mind my pink gloves I did not want you to see what kind of nails I have on because that is a separate video so yeah I just put on some gloves so yeah I wouldn't see the nails <laughs> Um, from there, I am going in with my 180 sanding man. I'm going all over the surface and I do blend that tip into the natural nail plate. This drill is the Melody Susie um, Sparkle Pro. Pro or Plus? I think this one is the Pro. And if you guys wanted a really good drill, this is an awesome drill. I'll have it linked below. I do have a promo code for them if you guys wanted to save a little money. Uh, but yeah, right now I am using this drill at about five to 6,000 RPM. From there, I'm going in with my dehydrator. I'm gonna dehydrate my nail plates. And then I go, I keep saying mine, like they're my hands. I'm gonna dehydrate her nail plates. <laughs> and then I'm going in with my rubber base gel. I'm gonna add a thin layer and then I'm gonna cure for a full 60 seconds. There's going to be different things that I'm doing for these nails and I don't know if you guys would even tell because um, I just feel like that there's not, not that there's going to be a lot going on. It's just like I think the bling takes over but um, I think the process was just well worth it. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking some clear builder gel and I just added it to the ring and the pointer nail. I'm going to take this glitter from Seth's Nail Co and it just so happens it is from her Zodiac uh, collection and it is called Leo. It is this holographic gold glitter. It is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, I do have a promo code for her as well if you guys wanted to save on your purchases. But I just take that and I focus on those two nails by placing it up on that top and then I do cure I only focus on that top section getting it close to that cuticle portion and then I do flash cure it in place I don't know if you guys ever seen those um those images I'll probably insert an image of what I was hoping for it to look like um it just looks so freaking pretty but mine didn't come out that good but it came out okay I think I just needed to use less builder gel <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, from there, I go in and I take out my dusty rose builder gel and I focus that towards the bottom of the nails. I do all of the nails except for the middle nail. And once again, as you see, I am only focusing on the tip portion. I wanted to use two builder gels to make a transition. So once I do this, I do go ahead, I do a full cure for 60 seconds and then you are going to see me pull out 
my uh, brown orchid and I do blend that from the top and I blend it down and like I said I did want two different shades of neutrals one more like a brown and one more like a pink like I stated I'm taking opinions from the comments that you guys stated um and i'm just trying to incorporate it into one so this was the best way that i thought i could do that i didn't want these nails to look super brown um so this is where that brown kind of comes into play and you'll see you know it's just gonna tie it all together in the end your waist it got me out my mind do you even care about the pain or is it my fault that's to blame? Started ripping it up, breaking the clock, giving a fuck about what we saying. It's the difference between playing. Been down for the ride, not for not giving a fuck about how you feeling. It's the difference between us. She's like you waiting on me to come back to you on some days. To let me know that you've been down for it all, that's what you always say. So should I be without you? Should I be without you? When it comes to the ring and the pointer nail, since I do have that glitter on top, I wanted to take that brown orchid and I am placing it on top of it, but I wanted it more sheer on top and then again, blending it down halfway over that dusty rose so it can look like an ombre. Um, and I think this is where I felt like I added too much of that brown orchid covering that glitter. I think I should have been a little more sheer on top and I think you guys, you guys would have seen the glitter better. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. But next time I do it, I'll try to remember, you know, to not do what I just did in this video. Because I feel like I just covered all of the glitter. Uh, but anyway, so for the middle nail, I do go ahead. I take that uh, brown orchid again. And I do a full entire nail of that. And then um, I do cure each nail as I'm doing it in between before moving on to the next. So that gel doesn't move around. So should I be without you? Should I be without you? 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 I wanted to add a little bit more glitter to these nails so I do go ahead and add more to the pinky. I do add a thin layer of clear and then I just start sticking that glitter in um, and I didn't want to cover the entire nail. I do just focus more towards the center and then kind of make it look like an S motion almost. I also take out one of these glitters. This is a fine white and iridescent. Don't mind me. I had like a cat hair stuck there. <laughs> Uh, so I take this glitter and this is probably one of my favorite glitters. There's a couple glitters that I love from her, but this one is, I use this a lot. I gotta say, um, I know you guys saw this glitter before, but I take that and I just add a little bit to that pinky just to give it a little extra oomph. And then I go in and I start adding it again to that ring and that pointer and I'm glad I did this. Like, I think that was a good decision. It just looks really cute. And just like I said, just a little extra. Mm. Uh, from there, I'm going in with my clear builder gel once again. And this is where I start encapsulating. I start focusing on my apex. I kind of just fill in these little divots and holes if I have any, just where, you know, wherever it needs to be filled and try to, you know, even everything out. Also, I'm purposely doing this over the glitter especially because when I go to start filing and shaping, I don't want to foul the 
you know, design away. So this is going to protect it. So when I go into filing, I can file it the way I want and not worry about removing any glitter. Once I completed that and everything is fully cured, you guys already know we're going to go in with my nail cleanser. I am removing that sticky layer so we could go into filing. For filing, uh, this nail file is from Not Polished. This is the 100-100 grit Not Polished nail file. I am filing the sidewalls. I'm filing the free edge straight. And then from there, I do go ahead with my nail drill. For the nail drill, I'm using my fine taper drill bit. I'm using this at 22,000 RPM and I am filing around that cuticle section. I'm filing over the surface of the nail, filing the tip area, just making sure everything is smoothed out and there's no lumps and bumps. Everything is looking perfect like I like. <laughs> Once I am completely satisfied with how the shape of the nails look, I do go ahead and I buff over the surface smooth. So we can move on to the next step. I wanted to add some marble inks, but before I add the marble inks, you need to go in with some matte. So I took out my matte and I added a thin layer to both the ring nail and the pointer nail and I do go ahead and I do a full cure for 60 seconds now I ended up taking out these are from Mia Secret um and I took out the yellow and the orange and a lot of you surprisingly also stated you wanted some yellow and orange in it so of course I'm gonna incorporate it um and for this also I kind of wanted it to be a little deep so after I added that, you are going to see me going back and adding more just to make the color look a little more deeper and rich. And then I take the yellow and I kind of move it around that as well. You're going to also see me go in with a little detail brush and some alcohol. And I do start to move it around a little bit. But honestly, I was more than satisfied with how it was looking. So I just chose to just leave it alone. Don't touch it. Because I know if I keep trying to mess with it, I'm going to mess it up and then I'm going to be upset with myself and disappointed. So I ended up leaving it as is and yeah, I think they just came out really good. Before we move on to the next step, I really wanted to show you these polishes. These are called Nail Reverse. Now, this was called Nail Addict. I love me some nail attic and I'm not sure why they changed their name but this is the new name it is the same company it's the same polishes like I said they just I don't know they changed their name um same formula it's just the same everything it's just yeah it's one of my favorite polishes to be honest I'm not gonna lie so they didn't send me this new color so I'm just showing you that really fast and for the next step, I am going to be using their brand. Now, I do take out some of the older um, nail addict colors and some of the new nail reverse <laughs> colors. But once again, like I said, it is all the same brands. I'm going to link it below for you guys. And only for a limited time, they did bump up the percentage. If you wanted to use my code, I'm going to link it below. You can get 60% off all the way up until September. So I highly recommend taking recommend taking advantage of the sale because that's a freaking good sale 60 percent off like what the hell um so i'm gonna link that below and like i said it's only up until uh september but yeah so these are the colors that i decided to use as i stated earlier i am going to draw the lion face so that is gonna be fun <laughs> i also wanted to show you these um brushes i ended up receiving them from 
oh man i forgot the name i'm gonna just leave the little words of what this brand is called um so they didn't send me a little while ago and i have been dying to use some brushes i've been in search for some really good brushes so we're gonna test this out um and i the only thing that annoys me a little bit is the fact that they're double-sided um so but it, they give you a lot so anyway I'm gonna leave that link in the description box for you but they worked out amazing for what i needed it for i'm not even gonna lie um so yeah those are the brushes that i'm using for this design so this is the part that took me i want to say maybe three and a half close i want to say three and a half hours drawing this freaking lion face maybe a little bit less let's say three hours okay let's just say three hours <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna just let you guys watch because somebody suggested i draw the face i was not even thinking about drawing a lion face but yeah yeah i said something so i challenged myself and this is me if it gets a little blurry i apologize my camera likes to focus on my hand i don't know why but yeah this is this is obviously sped up but yeah i'm gonna just let y'all sit back watch how i draw the face and I hope you enjoy it for the next, I don't know, six minutes, I think. <laughs> For a while and all Cause you couldn't name another one in me though So you wanna stay with me Stay with me Stay with me With me Cause you can't let go So you stay with me Stay with me Slow it down, slow it down, 
Let me just tell you something. This was a process. Oh my God. And then I didn't like certain stuff. So you saw me erase it, go over it. And the way I paint or like draw stuff, I don't like, I don't even know how to put it. I like, I overlap a lot of things i color i almost do it as if i was doing it on an actual canvas when i was little i used to paint a lot or even i'm not even gonna say when i was little like i throughout my whole life i loved painting so that's kind of how i tackle nail designs like as if i'm freaking picasso or something like i learned a lot from bob ross okay <laughs> But that's where I get got a lot of my techniques from Bob Ross. So, but it was just a lot of layering and yeah, it's just a whole process. So it took me, yeah, I want to say like three hours to do this line face. And I hope you guys like how it looked. Um, so for the next step, I do go ahead. I cure that making sure it's fully cure. You already know. And we're going to go in with bling. Um, for the bling, I ended up using some of my AB crystals. I took out my champagne crystals. I wanted to keep it gold themed. So that's where I took out the champagne crystals from. I also took out some of my gold chain. And you're going to see I have the Leo name. So you're going to see me adding different things. Um, when it comes to the pinky, I used the chain and I physically did the symbol for the pinky. And I think that came out so cute and pretty um but once again once i was fully satisfied with that i did go ahead and i cured everything into place oh my god and one thing i ended up adding crystals around the top portion of the leo face and then i don't know why it threw me off i ended up kind of regretting it almost because it looks like it has a crown i don't know anyway <laughs> i ended up just leaving it as is and then i do go ahead and i top coat that one nail and i do go ahead and cure for a full 60 i didn't need to top coat the rest because the others was a no white top um bling it gel which is amazing but this is what they look like this is the leo nail design let me know what you guys Think. it took me a lot to come up with and i hope you guys love it i took all of your inputs you guys said gold some of you said brown orange yellow and i just mashed them up and i incorporated everything that you guys stated let me know what you guys think of this design if you enjoyed this whole process 
Oh my God. And Virgo, guys. Virgo is next. August 23rd to September 22nd. Y'all, let me know what you guys want to see from Virgo. What colors, what shape. Let me know in the comments. Like I stated, please subscribe to my channel. Half of y'all is not even subscribed. What are you guys doing? <laughs> subscribe like this video and i appreciate every single one of you love ya